Hello friends, Christian here with Bricklife Crisis again. Today we're taking a look at Mega Constructs Call of Duty Urban Strike Squad. This set is recommended for ages 10 and up and consists of 119 pieces, including four micro action figures. Let's go ahead and break it open and take a look. Before we get too much farther into the video, I'd like to take a moment to invite you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We do a lot of LEGO videos and Mega Constructs uh, and a few other brick brands from time to time. So if you like this kind of stuff, I'd encourage you to subscribe and uh, thanks so much for watching. Alright, here it is, the Urban Strike Squad. As you can see, we have four micro action figures and a couple of small builds. Let's go ahead and take a look at each component one by one. Alright, first up we have this very small terrain build if you can even call it that you have this kind of metal grate piece on a small plate and a barrel uh, provides maybe just a little bit of cover or somewhere to store some weapons nothing really exciting but uh, it was included in the set and i guess it's better than nothing <laughs> next up we have this thing and to be honest i'm not exactly sure what this is um, it looks like maybe these are some kind of communications pod like a satellite uplink or something maybe it's some sort of uh, defense weapon uh, to defend a perimeter or a, kind of an alarm I'm sure that someone out there watching knows what this is supposed to be and if you don't mind I would like to ask you to put that down in the comments below because honestly I, I'm just not sure it was uh, kind of a cool little build it's got this little quad pod uh, with this ball on the top um, with some um, I don't know if you'd call them solar panels or something on the side. It's interesting. I'm just not sure exactly what it is, so please let me know. All right, here we have our first micro action figure. As you can see, he's got uh, a hoodie with some black goggles and a gray mask, tactical vest with a flashbang attached, has a tactical shotgun. He's got some kind of silver gray pants, boots, and knee pads. There's a knife attached to a strap on his one leg. The tactical vest is done in a Gray, dark gray color. Overall, pretty cool looking figure. He looks like he's ready for action. Alright, next up is this guy. He's got a uh, semi automatic rifle with a suppressor, it looks like. Tactical vest. He's wearing a gas mask under his uh, helmet. He has a backpack on as well. And uh, he's got an extra pocket over here on the side. Boots with knee pads, shoulder pads, not shoulder pads, elbow pads. Um, overall, pretty good looking figure. The weapon is kind of interesting in its coloring in that it has kind of a silver blue stock and uh, suppressor and uh, barrel, but uh, doesn't look too bad, I guess. It maybe is appropriate for an urban environment, I don't know. Uh, decent looking figure though, I like it. Next up is the guy with the riot shield, which is nicely done. Uh, right here in the middle, that square is a uh, 2x2 black tile and then the uh, window piece is added on so you actually build this up a little bit with a couple of pieces um, the figure has a black helmet with a gas mask kind of a, a bluish tactical vest and there's a pocket attached there he has a black tactical shotgun he's got some knee pads molded on um, those elbow pads are actually accessory pieces that you slip over the arm and he's got one on each overall Pretty cool looking. I like the tactical shield, uh, and you can uh, kind of get that up to eye level so it looks like he's looking through it. I also like the way it attaches, so oh, I didn't do it right, but basically the hand grips on to uh, that bar piece and then it clips around his forearm with uh, those clip pieces so it helps keep it uh, steady on the figure. Pretty well done. And finally, we have this guy. He has a little bit of a different mask that is a kind of a glass piece that is removable and there's a breathing thing that goes down on clips onto his belt. He includes two Uzi submachine guns. I've always really liked this Israeli submachine gun. Um, this one is done up very nicely with a foregrip, a suppressor, and a folding stock. Uh, and there are two of those included here. He's got some black pants with some gray knee pads, black boots. Um, elbow pads molded on. The tactical vest is done in a dark gray, almost black color. I really like that helmet. Um, that's very similar to the one that came in the hazmat set for one of the soldiers there. 
overall just a, a really well done figure this incidentally is the one that's featured in the window of the box but yeah i like this figure quite a bit especially those uzis very very cool and here's just a quick look at some of those accessories as you can see we have the two uzis the two tactical shotguns the one semi-automatic rifle and the riot shield in addition we have one backpack a couple of pockets a couple of flashbangs and a combat knife and of course each figure comes with his own stand so this set originally retailed for about $15 here in the US. It's not easy to find. Uh, I picked it up at Walmart when it was new, uh, but it wasn't uncommon to see it go on Amazon through third-party resellers or eBay for twice the regular retail price uh, immediately after initial release. Unfortunately, as you probably know, the Mega Constructs distribution has been really, really, really bad ever since Toys R Us went under. Uh, hopefully, uh, Mattel will be able to fix their distribution issues with the Mega Constructs line and uh, we'll be able to find this stuff a little bit more easily in the future. But for now, this is what we've got. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave us a like. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those below. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Take care. Bye for now.